Welcome back to St. Dennis. We've thought about what you can see in church and what you can hear in church. Next, we're going to think about what you can touch. Of course, we're in very strange times where we have to be careful about what we touch and make extra sure that we wash our hands properly after touching anything. But church isn't usually a place where you mustn't touch anything. There are toys and games, for example. There are the Bibles and books. And on very special occasions, we get to touch water and oil and fire. Water and oil and fire are all very important symbols for Christians as they begin their journey of faith. That journey begins here in the church with what we call a baptism. The ancient stone bowl here is called a font and is at least as old as the church itself. Countless babies have been baptised in this font. It is in many ways a normal bowl with a plug-in like you'd have in your bath at home. But when a Christian family have a baby, they might bring their son or daughter to be christened or baptised here. This is a way of saying thank you to God for the baby and promising in front of friends and family that they will do what they can to bring the baby up as a Christian, as a member of the church, praying for them and telling them the stories about Jesus. Parents choose other adults to help them with this job, known as godparents. Once the baby's old enough to choose for themselves, they can then be confirmed and declare their own desire to follow Jesus. Anyone can become a Christian at any time in their lives, and adults can also be baptised if they weren't as a baby. In some churches, only young people or adults are baptised, and they might have a pool under the floor, especially for a full immersion baptism. Here at St Dennis, when it's a baby being baptised, I would say a special prayer over the water here and splash lots of water on everybody. And then I'd take the baby from mum or dad and hold them like this under my arm. And then I use this special shell-shaped scoop and I pour water over the baby's head three times to baptise them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Maybe if you have a doll at home, you might like to do a play baptism in the bath with them. As well as water, we use oil in baptism. I make the sign of the cross with oil on the baby's head, like this. It's like an invisible badge, marking the baby as a follower of Jesus, because the cross is that symbol of Jesus. And finally, at the end of the baptism, after we've prayed for the baby and their family and we've welcomed them into the church family with a big round of applause, we give the baby a lit candle from this big candle, which represents Jesus as the light of the world. The Bible says that Jesus called himself the light of the world. And when someone is baptised, whether an adult or a child, we pray that the light of Jesus would shine in them and through them, wherever they go and whatever they do, we pray that that light will give them joy in the good times and comfort when times are tough and light the way for others when they are in need. Maybe after watching this video, you might like to light a candle in, safe, in a safe way and say a prayer to God.